All right, we have another budget IM to review today. This is the CCZ Melody. Let's talk about it. All right, first disclaimer, this was sent out to me for review, but this won't affect my review in any way, shape, or form. Also, this is going to be more of a gaming perspective review. I will touch on audio aspects, but from a more gaming light. That being said, let's get started. Starting with the box, everything is packaged quite nicely for a budget IEM. Now, in this box is, of course, the IEMs, the cable, extra different size ear tips, and paperwork. <laughs> Starting with the cable, it's a pretty standard budget braided IEM cable, having an angle 3.5 millimeter jack, a nicely braided cable for a budget IEM, leading to an okay plastic splitter where you'll also have a rubber chin slider. And at the end, you'll of course get pre-curled hooks for your ears. Now, if you bought the version with a microphone, you're gonna get an inline microphone with a single button for controls. Getting the version with a microphone, this little microphone right here, this is what it's going to sound like. And you know, it's not gonna be the most amazing thing in the world, but for what it is, it's not bad. So let's test out how you can hear my voice from here while it's just dangling here under, you know, my hair or just on my hair. And let's see how well it does in terms of like, you know, listening to my voice over my incessant typing just to see how well it does and i'm typing pretty hard on my little tactical tactical tech tactile tactile keys so you know that's how they're essentially going to sound and you know overall it's not bad i'm not asking for much but um because it is a budget i am but for what you get you know I ain't complaining. Now when it comes to the IMs themselves, they have a mostly plastic build with a CCZ logo design on them. The plastic shell is smooth and shiny and kind of reminds me of like the black keys on a piano. And just like the keys, they are fingerprint magnets, so you're gonna have to polish them if you want to keep them nice and pretty. Now on the inner side are rubber bits to help keep them secure in your ear and also provide a bit of comfort. Now unlike the rest of the body, the nozzle is made of metal, which is a pleasant surprise. And there's of course a grill to keep those ooey gooeys out. As for connections, the melodies use two pin connectors, which is pretty standard on budget IMs these days. Finally, after getting this all set up, this is how how they're gonna look like on my head. They're pretty standard size IEM, so though I think they are a bit on the larger side because they do stick a little bit out from my ears, but honestly, they don't look that bad. Regarding comfort, I think it's pretty good because I can wear them for several hours straight without a problem, and I think it has to do something with those little rubber bits on the inside. I think these IEMs should fit most people pretty okay unless your ears are like really, really small or really, really shallow. All right, now right off the bat, when it comes to the sound signature of this guy, it is a warmer sound signature. It is a more relaxed sound signature, which is something I personally prefer. At the low end, we get a pretty good reach into the sub bass so we got a pretty good bass range and the bass itself is actually pretty nice and punchy um there is a good amount of boom to it and they try to push the bass a little bit forward but not too forward so that it's not like overwhelming at the mids it's pretty decent and i do think it's a little bit on the recessed side as this is a more warm sound signature and i would expect that of this but overall the mids are okay the highs are like more controlled it doesn't reach super high which is personally what i kind of like i do kind of like it when the highs roll off a bit because that means the highs don't get like super high into a super high notes that hurt my ears because i'm afraid of things like sibilance and high-pitched noises i'm just very sensitive to that and since these guys don't have that they I, I like that i do think clarity takes a bit of a hit due to this which isn't exactly favorable if you're planning to use these iems for like tracking enemies in games as clarity really helps with that particularly with like footsteps though in practice in games the melodies gave enough information to track pretty okay with i just think that there's like better options with more clarity that bring your attention to those sounds a little bit easier of course clarity is just one part of the equation there's also like soundstage and imaging when it comes to the soundstage and the imaging for gaming it's not bad the soundstage is of course small because it is an IEM but overall it's pretty decent like there is some room to work with and it's not like super small where you'd get annoyed by how crunched up everything is you have a decent amount of space to work with so that's not bad at all the imaging itself is fairly precise so it's good enough to track what i need to find it's not ultra mega precise but it is precise enough now all that combined with the sound signature of these guys i think they would do well like across the board like on all game genres though i do think they are better suited for less competitive games don't get me wrong you can still definitely use these for competitive games because tracking is decent like you can still find people quite easily. I just think there are better sets for that where they have like more clarity at the mid and upper ranges. These have a more relaxed sound. These are for chilling in games or just, you know, breezing through with your friends. You're not going super serious to like be the number one ranker in the game in the world, you know? So that's that. That being said, if you're more into like um, relaxed sounds where you can just chill in games, well, not necessarily chill if you're playing competitive games, but you know, you're still chilling, I guess, with these guys if you're playing competitive games. The, the CCZ melodies are a pretty good choice and I'll just leave a little link in the description in case you do want to buy them. You know what? I'm curious. Are you guys more into like gaming with a relaxed sound or a more forward intense sound? Let me know. I'm kind of curious because I'm into like relaxed sounds even if I'm playing competitive games. And I I know that's like not as good because you'd probably perform better in competitive shooter games with like more intense sounds because your attention is brought to what you need to hear immediately when it comes to more relaxed sounds i can just listen to them as i want to like you know if i'm listening for footsteps i will focus on them and i will hear them as they come 
versus the IEMs being like, warning, there are feet coming in. That's the intense sound, by the way. So uh, just, just let me know in the comments. I'm very curious about your preferences. Relaxed or intense forward sounds? Let me know. That's yeah, that's pretty much all I have today. So, you know, this helped you up in your buying decision. Do leave me a like. Helps me help in this whole YouTube space algorithm, whatever. Also, remember to subscribe for more content. If you want to see more content, hit the notification bell. If you want to know when I'm posting next, and I'll be putting my streaming information down there. Don't know where I'll be streaming at. <laughs> it just you'll, you'll find out. It'll be in the description. Well, that's it. I'm done. I'm tired, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>